Hey friends, welcome into my Makeup Love office. I am here today with another quick tutorial. This week, we've been talking about pilling. So what is pilling and what do you do to get rid of it? Let me explain. Pilling is when you're applying your makeup products and you notice you get these little like balls of dead skin that kind of roll up on your face. I tend to get them the worst down here in my lower jawline for some reason. Um, there are a couple of reasons why you can have this little like, it's almost like sloughing off of dead skin cells, but it reacts with your makeup and it sort of like balls up in these tiny little balls. If you've ever noticed that, you'll know what I mean. So what causes it and how do we get rid of it? Well, one common cause is not allowing your moisturizer to absorb into your skin long enough before you start applying more products. This is one I'm really guilty of. Uh, what you should do is apply your moisturizer and then give it plenty of time to sink in before you start applying any other face products like primer or foundation. Um, a good idea would be to apply your moisturizer and then go ahead and maybe do your eye makeup. I know I don't do it that way, but you could go ahead and apply your moisturizer and then do your hair or get dressed or go feed the dogs or do some other chores while you're waiting on it to absorb. Give it a good 10 to 15 minutes, 30 would be even better, to make sure that it's completely sunk into your skin and it's not gonna still be on the surface to interact with any of your other products. A second reason, another one that I'm guilty of, is not exfoliating often enough. Especially in the winter right now, I've got really super dry skin. If I don't exfoliate often enough and I've got dead skin, dry, flack, a dry flaky patches on my skin, um, that's gonna cause pilling to be even worse. So make sure you're using a good mask at least two times a week, maybe even three times a week, depending on the season and the condition of your skin. I have super dry skin anyway, so it's a constant battle for me, but I do need to exfoliate um, regularly. Also, dermaplaning pro will probably help. Either do it at home or see your esthetician. Um, if you've never done it before, I definitely recommend an esthetician um, for your first couple of times or have them teach you how to do it. It's not something you wanna try like right off the bat on your own because it does take some skill and some practice. But dermaplaning basically means shaving your face. You're not only shaving off the hair, but you're also pulling off any dead skin with a very thin razor blade. Um, so that gets rid of any dead skin cells, it gets rid of hair, any gunk, any environmental you know, stuff that's on your skin um, and leaves it nice and really super clean. Um, so make sure you're exfoliating or dermaplaning regularly. Um, the third cause is not applying your products in the correct order. Now you wanna make sure you go from your thinnest products to your thickest products. So if you're gonna be applying, say, a serum, that's gonna be a much thinner product. So you'll want to do that before you do, say, a thicker, creamier moisturizer. Or say you're gonna be using a toner like rose water. You would spray that on before you put on a serum, before you put on a moisturizer. Get the idea? You wanna go from your thinnest product in consistency to your thickest product in consistency. If you try to do them in a different order, that's when you're gonna to start to see that pilling. The final reason that you might see pilling is because you're using products that are not designed to be used together. And I know you probably think just like I did back in the day, I always thought when companies told you to use a skincare line all from the same company, so say Unique, um, you know, use the whole skincare line from Unique, say the Glowplexion line, use the serum, the cleanser, and the moisturizer that's designed to go together. And I always thought that was just a sales tactic, a ploy to get you to buy more and to buy the whole line. Well, that does sound good, and maybe that is true in some cases, but there's a good reason that a lot of makeup experts tell you to do that. It's because the ingredients that are in those products are designed to be used together. And that's why the cleanser in say the Glowplexion is designed to be used first, then the serum, and then the moisturizer. 
Um, the ingredients that are in here will not interact with each other. If you're using, say, one product from e.l.f., one product from Unique, one product from Maybelline, one product from another company, you can't be sure that the products aren't going to clash with each other and cause pilling. So that's another thing you want to consider when you're looking at your skincare products. You want to read the ingredients. If you want to get real technical, you can dive deep into this uh, and do some research on the internet about what products don't work well together. You can look at your silicones because that can cause a big problem. Um, you can do a deep dive into this and really learn about it. But an easy way to do it is to just look for a line that's simple, that's affordable, that goes together and you can be sure the products are gonna be designed to be used together. That's why I like Glowplexion, it's three easy steps and I know the products aren't gonna interact with each other. And I know that because it's from Unique, it will work well with my Unique primer and my Unique foundation, concealer and so on. So there are four reasons why you might be getting that pilling and four quick easy ways to kind of solve that problem. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, if you are still having issues and you're not sure what to do, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to give you a hand. As always, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please give me some likes, shares, loves. It helps my algorithm and it helps you see more content that you like as well. Thanks for being here, everybody. Until the next video, see ya.